Chris Cartman, Son of a Source. Chris, um, Darian Butler's play, just anticipating those routes, um, his quickness now, his streamlined his body. Do, what do you think about just kind of where he's at with his game? It's a tribute to his offseason, uh, also with the guys in the weight room, right? So just taking it over what we're teaching and bringing it on the field. Uh, Coach Pierce's defense allows you to make plays if you just do your job, and that's what we're teaching, just do your job. Hi, Chris. Hold Rubino, Devils Digest. Uh, even in uh, losing effort, UNLV had a, a, a definitely very impressive uh, ground attack. What do you see, what do you see from uh, them in film? Uh, is there any Pac-12 team out there that they remind you of when it comes to their rushing attack? I think it's very similar to the guy at Oregon. Uh, he's a very good running back. I think he might have got drafted. Um, but he's a very good running back, and uh, it's a test for us, another, you know, another week. So we look forward to showing up and honestly just getting better as a unit and playing together. And uh, just, again, building as much depth every day in, in our group. What, what was the, Chris, what was the overall assessment of the assignment soundness of your guys in that first game? Um, it was okay. I mean, at the end of the day, we're trying to strive for perfection, right? So it's always going to be me pushing on them to just do, honestly, do your job. Um, and sometimes doing your job doesn't mean making an interception or a great play. Doing your job is being where you're supposed to be. Um, as the as the play finishes, so we're just trying to push every day to just be assignment sound football. Yes, sir. What kind of improvements have you seen um, Merlin and DB make uh, this year compared to kind of last year? Well, I think they're just maturing as as young gentlemen. You know what I mean? I, I, I laugh sometimes because you know you forget that they're they're just big kids. So um, they're they're growing. You know, every day, and I think, we, again, to be able to communicate is a big thing. And I think we do a better job of communicating um, than when I first got here and then where we are now. So I think we have a good way of communicating, and it helps us as far as getting things done. Yes, sir. Um, I don't know if somebody already asked this, but taking care of, like, going against uh, UNL, UNLV and their running back, um, what's Cheryl's game plan uh, as a linebacker? Oh, a game plan is you got to be uh, gap sound. You got to do your job. Um, just be gap sound, man. Whatever coach calls, you go and execute it to your best of your abilities. Uh, don't freestyle or do anything off off the uh, playbook, and you should be fine. Um, they do a good job of breaking things down and getting these guys ready to play. They just got to go out and execute. Hey, Coach, you were able to work in some of the younger guys, like Eric Gentry later on in the game. Just for all of your young guys, how would you feel about their performance? Uh, man, I guess it was good. You know what I mean? Again, I always tell them, like, you got to watch the film. Watch the film. I thought they, you know, the lights wasn't too big for them. But at the end of the day, you just got to keep progressing. And the things you do in practice should just roll over to what you do in the game. You know, with uh, some of the big-name linebackers you guys have, what can you say about the play of Kyle Soley, you know, a captain of this defense, you know, someone that can kind of easily get lost with some of the bigger names? What can you say about his play so far? I think, I think his role will just continue to expand as the year goes on. And honestly, it's not always about the big splash. It's about, again, doing your job, right? When uh, Coach Pierce calls your number, make your play. So that's what it's about. And I think that's the kind of player that I want him to be. I think he can, he's that player. And I think ultimately you want all of them to be that same guy. It's not always about the splash play. It's about doing your job. So, Chris, for you personally, uh, first game um, and, uh, as a part of this ASU coaching staff, first, uh, first game as a, as a college coach, how was that experience for you personally? Just Oh, man, it's exciting, of course. It's exciting, and um, just I just want to get better each week. That's my thing. You know what I mean? Just like I want to push my group, I just want us to get better each week. I want to get better at my job each week and continue to have us play and to play at a high level. That's, that's, that's the whole goal every week. Hey, Coach, uh, you've been around many different levels of football for a long time now. DB, whether it's vocally, on the field, does he remind you of anybody you've ever coached before? I think every player is his own player. Honestly, um, and, and it's not fair to put something else on them. But I think, you know, what you need to do is allow him to mature as the season goes, and we'll all find out who he is, right? Um, are you going to be that guy every week to do your job and still make plays? That's what matters, right? And then how do you bring your other teammates along with you? And I think that he does a good job. I think he's a very good leader. I think the, Kyle Sully is a very good leader. I think uh, Merlin, you know what I mean, he's a good leader. I think those are good leaders. 
But ultimately, how do we play as a unit? How do we get the whole unit to play together and uh, play on the field?